All right, we are back with our next guest, and here at Make It Make Sense, we talk to the movers, shakers, and the tastemakers, and we have... Reno Dudley. All right, everybody clap it up for Reno. <laughs> All right, Reno, so can you tell us a little bit about yourself, who you are, where you're from, and what you do? Um, so I'm actually from Austin, uh, Dove Springs originally. Okay. I am the station manager here at KEZI. I'm also a professor at ACC in the music management program as well as being an artist manager myself. So I've worked with a lot of different acts from Jake Lloyd, Kay Cali, Alicia Lani, um, John Dees, a number of just different people. So it's just been, it's been a journey. And so this is my latest stop here at KZI. Okay. And how did you know that you were good at at least managing the acts? I kind of got drugged into it by <laughs> some of my friends and everything because I was always kind of the more business-oriented friend mm -hmm. out of the group where I mm -hmm. had nothing but artists around me. Yeah. So I'd say, like, you know, we need somebody to do the business. You know the business. You know the business. As a matter of fact, one of my best friends, Jared, his cousin, uh, Cassie, goes by Cutter. He always just walked up to me. He's like, your name is the business. That's <laughs> your name. Like, there okay. was, like, the DJ tag, the business. Mm -hmm. that, that, was, that was, like, That's this okay. whole thing okay. for me. Um, <laughs> so... One day, I actually was watching Alicia perform during South by. She had invited me out via uh, social media after I did the John B. show that we did. And she was like, hey, I'm looking to do some shows and everything like that. I saw you did an R&B show. And I was like, all right, cool. And at the time, I was like, I do not want to manage anybody ever. No, it just seems like a headache. Yeah. And... She was at this venue on 6th Street, and I remember during South By, and like, I can't think of the name of the venue. I think it was Bat Bar at the time. Mm -hmm. And the vi the stage was halfway inside and halfway outside. And like, when she started performing, there was like three people in the venue. So mm -hmm. Alicia, like, if you've known Alicia, she has a real big personality, really charismatic. Yeah. She starts performing inside, grabbing people from the outside, going back inside, jumping in between. And next thing you know, this 300 capacity bar is filled to the brim with people and there's a crowd outside watching her and so okay, i turned period. to the person like who at the time was the manager i was like listen i don't want to manage an artist i'd never do but if i did it had to be one of those that's a star right there okay um and then she ended up starting to look for a new management and so i was the consultant for that trying to help her hire a new manager and then one day we're sitting at like chewy's and she's like why don't you just manage me instead of trying to help me find somebody i was like <laughs> like I did that like long side like uh -huh. when they about to snitch on first 48 right? <laughs> 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 he wasn't ready the next thing you know I had a jalapeno margarita and like I've agreed to manage her so years ago but nah, it was a, it was a journey it was a blast like managing alicia like we got to see a lot of different things first album debuted at number 18 on itunes um got the to tour <laughs> like internationally yeah. we played thailand canada if it went for covid we'd have done like australia mm -hmm. and london which was like the one i was most excited for play the festivals like acl she's been on the front page of the chronicle front page of grammy.com yeah has her own day here in austin so like that Alicia John Lonnie journey was it, Okay, it was, well clap it, it up like for a, Alicia. Yeah. Yes. 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 yes, honey. Yeah. <laughs> Whose birthday is yesterday or today actually, if I'm not tripping. Yeah. Okay, y'all about to go turn up. Oh, I think she's in Oakland actually. Oh damn. Like she okay. took a picture with uh Guapale last night, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so what's something that you like accomplished in this last year that you're most proud of? Because you accomplished a lot. Mm -hmm. What's something that's maybe like number one or number two on your list right now? I think number one is John playing Madison Square Garden. Period. Um, wow. That's yeah. like, it, it was amazing. And two was like, this was the first year I actually got to go out and join like the tour with, with one of my artists where I got the tour with John. And then we did a lot of different venues. Um, Red Rocks in Denver, Salt Shed mm -hmm. in Chicago, Fillmore in Detroit. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so we got to do the Majestic Theater in Dallas. So, you know, it was, like, really cool going there and making connections. One of the connections I actually booked me for an interview earlier today I got to do. So it's been a lot of – it was being able to, like, step away from corporate America and just finally make my living being Reno yeah. and mm -hmm. managing my artists and being involved in the music industry and doing the things I love. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, love that for yeah. you. I love that for you. <laughs> it was amazing. So, Reno, what is next? What's next for you? Let the people know. I mean, right now, 
the station is, is a big focus for me. Uh, mm-hmm. We are truly on an upward trajectory. We're wanting to launch the podcast network, which this is a huge part of, even having this filming tonight. Um, going into a lot of different things, getting more involved in the community. Uh, I threw out an idea today that I'm probably giving up too much information, but we're ending <laughs> out a Black Awesome Business Week where we like celebrate Black Awesome Businesses, mm-hmm. give out tips and do different things. Um, and really just trying to make us a hub for Black Awesome because we are, we're the preeminent media yeah. of Black Awesome. So, like, it makes sense for us to be like Grandma's house. Yeah. We're the place that we all come to, and it's like we drop all the other stuff, and we come in here, and we, like, progress together. Exactly. Um, we have the tough conversations. You know, we move on, and yeah. we make sure that we're moving all in the same direction and moving in alignment. Yeah, that's beautiful. I love that. Thank you. So well spoken. <laughs> so well spoken. And um, it just sounds like you've got a lot of great things coming. Um, how can we find your new projects or things that you get into or things you want to promote? Like your social media? How can we reach out to you and connect and network? Because you got, you got the moves. We need, we, need, we need to figure out how to connect with you. Uh, social media, at Reno Dudley, R-E-N-O-D-U-D-L-E-Y. Um, of course, on follow the station at eighty eight point seven KZI. You know, those two places you can find a lot at John John D's. You know, you find him online. Yeah. He's doing some amazing things. He's doing a lot of things with the Kill Tony podcast. He leads the Kill Tony band, um, so that's an amazing thing that he's doing right now. Uh, so, I would say you follow those things, you'll see a lot of what we have going on. Okay, period. Well, can we clap it up for Reno one time? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and we'll be back with our next guest. Don't go anywhere. Thanks, Tom. <laughs>